can't hear you. I know it. There we go. <laughs> Welcome to Phoenix, Mr. Nurkic. First, Appreciate congratulations on, on being here. And then secondly, when you, A, when did you find out about the trade? And what was your initial reaction to the trade? I mean, the, initially I found out that everything was, you know, at the place Wednesday, right? Um, that everything went through and it's officially. But I kind of have a hang a little bit before that could happen. So I kind of was ready and um, having great relation with the organization in the past my seven years was amazing and um, everything was so transparent and, and I couldn't complain anything. Um, but, you know, I thank them too to kind of put me in position like Phoenix um, and I'm really enjoying so far. So my hand is great. I have a great feeling, man. Okay. Follow up real quick. What do you feel like you can bring to this team right away when you look at the talent that's around? Not that you haven't played with it because you have with Dame, but now you have Kevin and Devin and Bradley. How, how much are you looking forward to being part of that? And again, what do you feel like you can bring? I mean, as far as fit, I think it's a really good fit. Um, and obviously, the reason I'm here, they really believe that I'm a great fit. And I really should mean that. Um, what I can do, you know, I'm not came here to replace no one. I'm a nerd playing the right way. I think it's really fun. And, and they understand that. They like, have a three scores, 30 points a game. It's just for the big, it's, it's amazing, man. Like, to have an um, ability to see how they're going to guard, you know, KD, Beal, or Book, or who they're going to double. It will be fun, man. I think it will be fun. And for me, um, to all those little things to be, you know, great in defense and this team was struggling to pass for rebound, you know, I'm a, one of the best in defensive rebounds. So I think, and I believe I'm a really good fit as far as that. And my game going to help everybody else. You know, I'm a, you know, like Book said, I'm a point guard now. So <laughs> it will be, it will be, it will be fun for me to really enjoy and fresh start and, 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 and a super team, you know, I'm, didn't have a chance to be part of super teams before, so I will experience that in the best possible way. So, Yusuf, Kellen Olson in here in the front, Arizona Sports. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the Valley. You alluded to it there, and it sounds like Book has already been joking with you about how your passing is going to be able to be featured in this offense. All three of those guys are tremendous off-ball players, so how much are you looking forward to being the guy that can find them in the right spots and allow them to cause all those problems for the defense? I think, first of all, you know, Frank Vogel, you know, I'm a big fan. He's fan, and I think that's the reason, kind of biggest reason I'm here. And I'm really looking forward to work with him, and he understands what I can bring on the table. And my facility will be great for this team. And uh, like you said, they know how to play off ball. Um, to be transparent, I feel like the, the, the fit on the offense will be the easiest part. Um, you know, I will, I will have to figure out the, the defensive part with the, with the team, and, and that's coach coming in and, and do his part. So I think really I can strive with, the, with the, his system and his coaching staff and, you know, organization really, you know, embrace, you know, like in, uh, embrace me here the best way possible from the owner to, you know, to the, to the staff. So, you know, to me it's the dream to be in this system and, and the players we have. So from the, you know, bench starters, everybody uh, who will come in, you know, who can shoot the ball really well. So to have a shooters like that, and, you know, my screens and to be able to pass and, and you know, looking forward, man, I, you know, I feel bad we didn't practice yet. Like, <laughs> and I really look forward to see how it looks like. Hey, Yusuf, Gerald Borgay, PHNX. Welcome to the Valley. I'm just curious, obviously, coming over here, there's a couple of former teammates of yours on this roster, Nasir coming with you, Drew Eubanks signing over the summer. What do you feel those guys bring to the table, and how nice is it to have a couple of familiar faces in a new place? I mean, Drew is sneaky, man. He tried to run away from me, and then I got him here. So uh, I didn't, didn't know he turned like that, but I love Drew. I think that he bring toughness and, and play hard. And, you know, like I said, Nasir going to be huge for this team. The energy he play, and, and he's still young. He's going to learn a lot. But like I told you, I think he don't understand being in a winner culture and winning team is, is going to be bring so much happiness and, and enjoy it like through the through the year and when he out there he's going to give you all best so i think for us um to complement all these three guys who can really score the ball it will be huge to understand the role and uh, and you know to be best to play best in the role they they you know coach and, and staff are going to put you in so i think people are going to embrace that and and that's going to really elevate our game and, and, and winning situation 
Hi, Vicky Perez from La Frecuencia Straight Ahead. Uh, welcome to Phoenix. I do follow you on the gram, and I saw that you posted the Sons and Court guy to uh, express your excitement about playing in Phoenix. What's your favorite thing about this fan base, and what are you most looking forward to when this place is filled with thousands of fans? Uh, you can turn on your left, right? The sunny. So I think that's the biggest, you know, I'm a sunny guy. I love warm and just, you know, I feel like bad didn't happen in July, so I can see the heat. But uh, at the same time, as much as I love, you know, outside and, and weather in Phoenix, I know that we have a business to do, and, and that's a winning championship. We have aspiration to win now, which is great, and, and I'm really happy to be part of that. Uh, as far as fans, I think going to be packed, you know, like all the, you know, I think we, we were scheduled in Portland to be one on uh, national TV, that, you know, this season. So coming in situation was going to be pretty much every game like that. So national TV and, and all the, I guess, pressure to come with. I think it's a great um, um, situation to be in, to play, and, and you know, having the guys we have, I think we're going to be a lot of fun this year, and I'm excited to meet every, every fan out there. Yusuf, Dana Scott from Arizona Republic. Welcome to the Valley. Just wondering about your thoughts on uh, Bull Bull and playing with him. Obviously, you played yeah, with Drew. Yeah, he has a different, uh, plays with a different dimension, you know, compared to most bigs, you know, like you and Drew. What do you think he brings to this team and how you can go up against him in practice? You count Bobo as a big? <laughs> what are you looking? That's poor you looking, man. My bad. I feel like he's a guard. Like, the way he played, the way he moved, you know, I necessarily don't put him personally as a big, um, but I think he can play position for us in certain matchups and, 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 you know, whatever coach put him in. But I definitely looking forward to see him in, in, in a kind of winning situation that he have a chance. But like you said, I think he's playing different than, than mostly bigs or, or, or whatever. But um, looking forward to play with him. I didn't play with him, hear a lot about him from Denver days and my teammate, ex teammates there. So, I think he will be really good in this um, organization uh, as long as he, you know, strive to be great. But um, like I said, I think he's a more guard, personally. So back here uh, behind the camera, uh, Elliot goodbye, Sports 360 AZ. Welcome to the Valley. So you Appreciate just you. mentioned how excited you are to be coached by Frank Vogel. What responsibility do you feel on the defensive end for this team? You know, knowing um, what I know about Frank Vogel and, and his past with the bigs, I think it's really exciting for me um, that he understand and, and I love to put bigs in, in great situations and to have a best posi position and to succeed in, in the, his system. Um, I think the, the most part I'm excited is like defensive system to see what, what, you know, what he want to do and um, communicate, communicate with him in, in, in the best way possible to, you know, and I will do it, you know, I will definitely do whatever, you know, him and, and, and his coaching staff asking for me. So I'm not afraid of that. And it's going to be so much fun in winning anyway. You know, I always tell the players, when you lose the game, I feel like everything hurt. But when you win the game, it doesn't even bother anything. Like you're happy and just, you know, enjoying the, the, the time. So for me, I'm really looking forward to see his staff and him the, the pick up the brain and what they really see and, and how we're going to operate. Final two questions. Yusuf Chaz Messman, KYMA TV. Welcome to the Valley. Appreciate um, you. With the addition of the in-season tournament, how has that changed your approach, if at all, to the early parts of the season? And has that changed, like your mentality, uh, for the early parts of the season? I think being part of this team, it just doesn't change anything. Like it's, you try to win anything. So whatever comes up, I think the tournament, it's great. I think the NBA initially, when present to players, us. Um, they want to kind of having this, these early games meaning more. And I think that's what they end up getting. You know, this tournament, you know, where I'm from, we play cups, um, you know, overseas. And, and I think it's interesting really for the fans to engage and, and having excitement to, you know, having winning games and something mean for. It. So I think that's the behind of the goal. But for me personally, it doesn't change. I really can play any game, you know, preseason, you know, cup or, or whole season or playoff. Uh, to be part of this team is just, a, you know, I'm really looking forward to play with. Doug Franz, Doug Franz Unplugged, WTSM TV. We, I want to ask a fun question just to get to know you a little bit. In your travels as an NBA player, what is a city in America that kind of reminds you of home? 
And on the flip side, what is something about Americans that you still don't understand or you would want to have a question about why do Americans do blank? Three questions. Uh, <laughs> um, so first part of your question, I think what I was living last seven years is really similar um, to, to my home, having four seasons, having a lot of greens. Um, and the city is, is kind of, you know, America is a little different, all these big buildings and stuff, so it's kind of a little different than I grew up um, in my city and where I was born. But kind of comparing to Northwest to the um, home where I'm from, kind of that's similar too, or maybe Charlotte a little bit, but that's kind of four seasons, you know, don't have as much rain is probably important, but that's kind of, you know, a feeling. On the flip side, your second question is tricky because I still don't know why everybody have to have so many guns. Like, I feel like that's kind of, you know, still don't understand to this day um, because I feel the kids um, should be safer in our schools. And, and, you know, I think personally, when you see the, even if fake guns, whatever, come up with the social media and kids having in school, I think it's a bad thing. And um, sometimes you can't control certain things with this media, uh, all the social media we have platforms. But I think our kids, you know, if we can secure them, the better, you know, world going forward will definitely be without guns because all these wars and around the world is definitely not good for anyone, especially if people can go through that and losing their life for no reason. The war doesn't bring anything, you know, just the sadness and, and heartbroken things. And I feel like for the kids going forward in America on all whole earth, it's got to be a better place to live, if, you know, with, a, with a more positive things. Yep. Appreciate you.